In the past 40 years, computers have evolved from primitive monochrome terminals to amazing 24-bit color windowed intuitive what you see is what you get or whatever you name it, fully user-oriented devices. However, Windows still carries a simplistic textile interface that you can use to do some cool stuff around your system. Today, we're going to talk about command line prompt and its little tricks and secrets that you're probably not aware of. This is Ron Latino. As you probably know, CLS is the simplest command used to clear the screen. However, you can use a double ampersand operator to combine it with any other command. For example, the ver command shows Windows version installed on your system. Using CLS and and ver, you can first clear the screen and then display the version information. Obviously, the double ampersand thing allows to run any two commands in a single line. CD changes current directory, but Windows uses long file names with lots of spaces and sometimes it's a pain to enter them manually. If you need CMD to navigate to a certain directory and do not wish to spend time on figuring out its full path, just use Windows Explorer to start it. When you launch it like that, it will open exactly in the directory that was previously open in Explorer. Start is used to run a program in a new window. For example, Start Notepad will open Notepad. However, this command can also be used to open a website. Start www.google.com opens Google in your default browser. You have to make sure to include the 3W part, otherwise it will not work. Copy is the command to obviously copy files. But did you know you can have a progress display if you added a Z switch to it? Well, now you do. The cipher command is used to cipher files on your hard drive. However, you can use it to wipe unused space on your system in case you're worried someone could get their hands on your private data by unerasing your deleted files. To do that, just use the slash w colon d parameter along with the cipher command. The routine will take a while to execute. Could be a couple of hours. But at the end, your hard drive will be completely free from deleted file data. Del is used to delete files. Guess what? There's a cool way you can benefit from that too. If you're out of disk space, just use it with the slash Q slash F slash S percent ten percent backslash asterisk. This will delete Windows temporary files and make room on your computer. And by the way, did you know Windows command line supports hotkeys? For example, you can press F7 and view command history. Choosing a line and pressing enter will re-execute the corresponding command. DAS key slash history displays the same information. ASSAC command will show your file extension associations. Kinda lot of text, huh? We can pipe the output of this or any other command to find string utility that will search for a specified line in command output. The format is ASOC, pipe, find string, the string to look for. As we can see, there are five file extensions on my computer that are currently registered to be treated as text files by the system. Let us add a new one. ASOC, period, matino equals text file. This will force the system to treat files that have Matino extension as text files. Let us check if the operation was successful. Looks like it was. Okay, now let us create a new text file and save it under 
testing one, two, three, txt name. Okay, here's our file, but we can't see the extension because Windows hides it. So we want to go to View menu and check File Name Extensions flag. And now we're going to rename the file and change its extension to Matino. And now I'm going to double click the file and try to open it. There we go. As we can see, the file was opened in Notepad which is a default viewer for all text files. To immediately turn on the screensaver and force the screen to go completely black, if you're feeling sleepy and the light of the monitor disturbs you, you can use this command to pull that off. For that to work properly, you must make sure no program that wakes your computer is currently running. Netstat is a very useful command that shows your current network connections. Its main purpose is to look for some not very nice programs that make remote connections without your consent. You can also use it with the minus T parameter to display TCP connections only. And guess what? If you'd like command output to go directly to your clipboard so you can paste it elsewhere, just use the pipe command along with the clip keyword. As we can see, the netstat output is now in the clipboard buffer. You can use shutdown to turn off your computer. But that command has some options. Use the minus T switch along with the minus R to perform the delayed shutdown. If you change your mind, you can always use the A parameter to abort the shutdown. And the last one for today is OSK. Did you know this existed in Windows? You can click keys by using your mouse only. Pretty helpful if you have a stuck key or in case you misplaced your keyboard. I listed all the commands mentioned in this video in the description so you can use it as a cheat sheet in case you need them. Ok, let us review all the commands mentioned today. Double ampersand allows you to run two commands in one line. CMD opened from within File Explorer will navigate the command prompt directly to the directory it was open in. Start command can be used to open websites. Copy with a Z switch displays progress in percent. Cipher command can be used to wipe the unused space on your hard drive. Del can be used to empty temporary files folder. Assoc can be used to view and modify file extension associations. You can blank the screen directly from command line. Pipe with the clip keyword can be used to direct any command output to clipboard. Shutdown has a timer option. And finally, OSK can be used to bring up the on screen keyboard. This was Ramatino. If you like this video, please support this channel by writing a comment below. And don't forget to share it in social media and subscribe. I wish you a very good day. See you next week.